Hi friends, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today I have a treat. I have both Ike and now more importantly, Maddie Stevens, the owners and founders of Big Tech's Ordnance. And I wanna to talk to them today about something in the firearm space that doesn't get talked about a ton. They are a husband and wife team who runs a company together. That's unique. And I wanna ask Maddie a little bit about what it's like being the owner of a company as a woman in the firearms world. LuckyGunner.com is my go-to resource for in-stock, fast shipping ammunition. Whether you're looking for rifle ammo, handgun ammo, rimfire ammo, or shotgun ammo, go to LuckyGunner.com for the best place on the internet to find it all in stock and ready to ship. They have stood by us all in this ammo pandemic, given us great education via their YouTube channel and their ballistic testing as well. Go and check them out and find great ammo ready to ship at good prices. So guys, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, this is really cool. Thank We've you. done bunches of videos, right? You get to know this is a family-run company. And first of all, I thought it was really funny. You guys are expanding and one of the offices are like, okay, so this is Maddie and their youngest. I'm not gonna name their youngest on camera. Um, but you know, it, it, the baby comes along, right? So yeah. you guys, through running your company, have brought three children into the world yeah. mm -hmm. and grown your company from you guys on the kitchen table to Bunches of space, bunches, yeah, thousands of orders, holy cow. So I'm gonna tell you, I don't think, my wife won't work w in my company. She's like, <laughs> I don't want in your company, you get out of my face. How's that been working together? Oh, it's been nothing short of amazing. Like, absolutely. We, we, we actually like spending time together. Yeah. Not, not saying that y'all don't. <laughs> no, no, we do. I love my wife, she's my best friend, but. Uh, no, but like, we just really like hanging out with each other and we work really yeah. well as a team, which. Uh, and I think we figured out that we worked well together really early on. When you were putting yourself through school, he worked in landscaping. And so so I could see him because I was still in high school. I would go with him on jobs and help him on the weekends. Wait, straight up, we you guys realized. are high school sweethearts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the, we, um, we met when I was 16. Yeah. That's and amazing. So, that's how we realized we worked well together. Mm. Is, I mean, that was the only opportunity we could get to spend time together at the time was just to for me to go with him on jobs. And we... We realized, I mean, if we come on, up on a conflict, we we're e it's pretty easy for us to work through it. Yeah, we talk it through and yeah. end up without too much too much frustration or anything. So here's an interesting thing. I I'm gonna share this too, and maybe this is off the topic of ASP a little bit. So my wife and I got married, uh, I was 19 and she was 18 when we got okay. married. Yeah, that's basically us. Yeah, yeah, same thing, right? But I actually thought it's easier for us because some people are like, wow, you were so young. Yeah, we didn't exactly. get set in our ways. We grew up into adults exactly. together. We, we, we grew kind of like on the same trajectory almost. Like it's like we were different people, but like we kind of, and we're different people now than we were back then. Of but course we kinda, you were. We, we grew together and and we know that we over time even if we're not into the same things all the time we evolved together and we've never really separated in our path i mean we're wildly different than we were when we met i mean of course i, think we I mean you're both. gonna grow up right right yeah. <laughs> and now maddie are you uh, were you into the firearms and self-defense and training and stuff like that um, or not, did you get into it because ike was into it so the, pretty much so i mean i knew that I, I was alone a lot. My dad um, worked 24 hour shifts as a Houston firefighter. So I always knew I needed some type of way to defend myself. And it's something he really ingrained in us as kids because you know, he wasn't around. And um, I knew that that was something I was gonna wanna purchase a firearm when I could. And then he was very passionate about it. And one thing my parents always taught me was you don't have to love their passions, but you need to understand why they love it. Mm. So that's how I got ooh, into fire. That was a pro tip right there. <laughs> that that le legit a pro marriage tip right there. You don't have to share the passion, but you have, you to, have to know why, why they love that passion. And then it quickly spiraled from there. He took me and usually I do not recommend husband and wife doing like lessons or having your husband teach you, but it worked out for us and it quickly became something that we did to bond and we did to spend time together. That's awesome. And and listen, I think that's great. The, how many companies in the firearms and self-defense space are run by a husband and wife, not just a husband and wife, but who love each other <laughs> and like spending time together and like do that stuff. I, I had a second question and I know we started talking about this a little bit, but I really want to talk about it actually with you. I, I haven't really prepped Maddie for this is, is that if you've been around Aspa a while, you know, uh, so our CEO, Stephanie, is actually Neil's wife, not my <laughs> wife. People go, oh, John, that's your wife. No, I'm, we're both married, just different people. It's your sister wife. <laughs> yes, my, my, my work wife, right? Yeah. And um, how's your experience been as a woman owning a company in the firearms and self-defense space? Um, I'd say it's been great. I think the niche that we work in 
it's a lot more um, welcoming to ideas than people really think it is. There's this stigma that, you know, the gun industry is just for the man and it's very old school. And it's really not when you get into it. Um, and also, I mean, I'm kind of a, I don't know, what's the best way to put it? I'm not as active on social media and stuff as Ike, so it's never really put a target on me where the light's directly on me. So that's kind of worked out in my to like my advantage, but I'd never say it was a true issue for us. And, okay, so straight up, I think that's a, a, an interesting style choice for you guys because, and again, I haven't prepped them with this, not to say too much, you're a beautiful woman. Yeah. And so it would have been very easy for you to be the face of the franchise, and that would have probably sold you some stuff in the beginning. He's a likable face. <laughs> He's the likable face. It's like the presidential slogan, we like Ike. You know? There you go. He's just, everyone loves Ike. Well, I mean, you know, everyone loves Maddie too. <laughs> So that's cool. I think that, that a great experience there. I think Stephanie at times has experienced people going, you know, oh, can I talk to the person in charge? Mm -hmm. And when she goes, I am the person in charge, yeah. then, then you're like, wait, what? And so some of that, I'm, I'm glad that you've experienced good instead. Mm -hmm. um, guys, I hope you learned a few things about this. Number one, Big Tex is run by uh, people who love each other, and that's cool. Number two, you actually got some really good marriage advice in here. <laughs> and uh, listen, when you buy from Big Tex, you help them raise their babies. And this isn't like, again, a big corporation full of shareholders and, you know, uh, the, we joked about earlier that you don't, you know, HR is who has to deal with that today, yeah. not, you know, a, a big department. So, I, Maddie, thanks so much for coming. Yeah, to absolutely. Thank thanks you. Thanks for coming out.